Hello, in this video I wanted to take a couple minutes to demonstrate a new tool we added into Next called Quadraw. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I should mention that Next is a plugin for Maya. Uh, you can download it and actually try it out for yourself by, by visiting our website, uh, draster.com or digitalraster.com. Uh, here you can see there's a download link as well as uh, some other sample videos showcasing uh, some of the existing tools. Um, also, I wanted to mention that when you do download it, uh, I recommend that you register with our website and uh, so you would get a free license uh, to use Next while in alpha. So as it says, it is in alpha, so what you see uh, might actually change. Um, and uh, all of our tools are undergoing a lot of enhancements as we progress into beta and then to final release. But I encourage you to all download it and try it out for yourself. What I'm about to show you isn't going to be in the release we have available on our website just yet. Uh, as of today, uh, December what, 27th, 2006. Um, but hopefully in the next couple days, two weeks, we'll have this bit, as well as a few other interesting tools that we're developing uh, will be available in the download that you can try out for yourself. So um, let me get back to the tool. It's called Quadra, and essentially what this lets you do is basically create four-sided polygons uh, as quickly as we can imagine it possible. So here I can uh, just freeform drop dots and I'm going to just go ahead and uh, take off my grid for a second. So you can see that there's just the uh, four dots that I just instantly created by just clicking. And these are actually just OpenGL dots. I don't actually even have anything in my scene just yet. So if I go over here and open up the outliner you can see that nothing's been even created yet but uh, just some dots and what those let me do is you know, drop dots that I can use to actually create faces. So before I do that, I can also show you that you can move these dots and and move them. But essentially, they're equivalent to essentially vertex points. So once I'm happy with the placement of the dots, I can hold down Shift, and you can see that it's going to show me this uh, stippled little polygon that is four-sided, and it's essentially trying to create a polygon or give you a preview essentially of what polygon will be created if I click. So here if I just simply click and go into shaded mode you can see that there it just instantly created a polygon. Now if I uh, click drag I can just interactively create a polygon just like that. So that's the gist of it essentially dropping dots that's actually one method of creating polygons. If I was to create another set of poly or points like that you can see that I can uh, you know quickly create polygons connecting them just like that. So what had essentially happened was I created a new object at this point. So now if I go back to the outliner, you can see that it's created a new object called Polysurface 1. And now that I have that selected, I can actually re-enter the tool and now I'm essentially appending to that selection. So I'm essentially adding polygons to it. So if you don't have anything selected and you enter the mode, it'll actually create a new object for you. If you have something selected, it'll uh, it'll actually just start adding to it. So here you can see I can just easily qu quickly create more polygons and here I'm going to create a discontinuous set of polygons over here and show you that uh, one of the other things you can do is not just create polygons but also delete polygons. So by holding down control I can delete it and again if I hold down shift I can uh, create a polygon. So here if I control click and delete and I hold shift again you can see that it's giving you essentially a preview. It hasn't created any polygons there. It's just creating a preview showing you the possible polygon that it can create based on where your cursor is in between uh, the closest four points that it finds. Um, in this instance, I'm not using any virtual or OpenGL points. If I was to create maybe four in between here, you can see I can just quickly create one just in between that. But here it's actually, uh, in this instance, it's actually creating a polygon using four real vertices that are a part of that mesh. So that's uh, essentially that and if I actually um, hold control and hover over a vertex or edge you can see that it's actually giving me a target weld tool. So here I can weld that section of that section and again uh, essentially do that. So if I again create uh, another small polygon in between this I can hold control and instead of deleting a face which happens if you hover over a face if you hover over a vertex or edge it'll let you engage basically a target weld uh, tool so here you have an easy way of creating um, connections between polygons 
So that's one method. We've tried to enhance the quad draw tool so you have essentially a bunch of tools, you know, moving points by hovering your cursor and using the middle mouse button, uh, dropping points by using the left mouse button by itself, creating polygons by holding shift and either clicking or click dragging, um, and then target weld by holding control. So it's, it's a lot of combinations, but essentially one tool and in combination with control, control shift, or shift itself, you have a lot of other uh, options. And then finally, uh, we talked about you can move points with the middle mouse button. Um, but we, with the control shift together, uh, you can hold that down and with the middle mouse button, resize, what, what, resize excuse me, uh, what essentially is a live polygon. So now if I resize this, I can hold control shift and you can see it's kind of following my cursor and I can create a strip. So here I'm interactively creating a strip and I can just bend it around it and it almost hit the edge of the screen so it kind of created an elongated polygon there but I can just easily delete that and then uh, maybe create a connection in between these and straighten things out just like that. So this can be useful if you are creating a new polygon mesh um, and you wanted to start by quickly creating quadratic or uh, four-sided polygons like this but this especially becomes useful if you are trying to resurface a mesh. So uh, what I mean by that, let me restart the scene and open this one. Uh, here I essentially have a model that was done by Victor Soto. He works at Digital Domain and it's a character that he modeled in ZBrush. It was done completely in ZBrush uh, using, um, I'm pretty sure, either Z spheres or just a primitive sphere or box. and he uh, molded it and you can see it's fairly dense uh, into what is essentially this bust. So um, ideally you probably want to delete half of it and optimize it as much as you can but uh, this system seems to be handling uh, this amount of polygons relatively well so I didn't do that but what I will do is select that object and then go into see-through mode so now you can see through it and what I'm going to do this time is create polygons but on the surface and so the way I do that is just engage quad draw and then uh, enable reference mesh so here I can just select the shape node for that object and I'm just going to go into full screen there and here now anytime I create a, p a point it's going to actually create on the surface of that mesh so you can see that uh, those open gel points are actually on that surface and and here I can just instantly connect those by holding shift so as I work my way around this mesh, I can just quickly create those polygons. So that's using the uh, shift plus the points that are already there. If I wanted to actually create a strip, I hold down control shift and you can see that I can just work my way around it and maybe go over here onto one of these fins. I'm going to delete that and resize this a bit and just work my way up and you can see that Again, it's a very simple tool to quickly create polygons and connect them and, and work my way around. So I'm going to delete these guys and uh, maybe create a strip connecting the bottom of his eye to that one that I created there. And here I'm just going to I'm going to quickly exit the tool, select the mesh so I can see the edges very quickly and then re-enter it. Now again, I'm just going to append to the selection and I can just easily create that. And again, if I wanted to connect that, it's like any of the tools, the more you use it, the faster you get. And I'm messing up there a couple times, so I quickly deleted those. Okay, so that's basically the gist of it. Uh, once we get further along with this tool, uh, we'll probably make, actually I know we're and enhancing it in several ways that I haven't shown already, uh, but that's basically it. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Also, like I said, uh, this tool is not currently available in the download that we have available on our website just yet, but it will be uh, hopefully very, very soon. Um, if you have any trouble getting to our website or registering or any of that, just send me a private message. I'm on CG Talk A Kasami. Uh, so that's A K E I S S A M I. So you could find me. We have a thread on CG Talk that you can 
look me up on in the Maya forum section. So uh, feel free to send me any information that you might have in terms of problems with the plugin or a uh, problems downloading it or problems at all. So I will be happy to help you in any way that you need. Um, so that's basically it. Uh, as I said, we'll have more information about how all this stuff works um, and you'll be able to try it for yourself uh, relatively soon. So just wanted to give you a preview release. I know a lot of you are anxious to see this tool. Um, uh, we have a couple other things we're working on that prevented us from releasing things just yet, but uh, hopefully we can iron those things out uh, within the next day or two and have something available. If not, uh, just let us know what you think of what we have so far of this and how you might uh, suggest improving it, and we'd be happy to hear it. So look forward to hearing you on the boards. Take care, guys.